Most people in America are familiar with the term from military of a black plague. And a black plague is when blacks start to harass a white man. They use that term recently in reviving some history of a massacre, which was very sad for all of America because we had all thought we had moved beyond that Civil War day. But what I know about gentlemen who are elderly and senior and more like monsignors in a black community is that they will often put the young boys in dreadlocks into a black plague. The young men don't realize what they're doing is not true. They're making a conscious choice to harass someone, to harangue them, to someone, to insult someone with a dollar. And openly they'll then go, oh, they don't need it when the person refuses to be played with. You see, the insult is what they're doing to themselves, not to the white man, not to the homeless person, not to the person with food insecurities. They're actually insulting themselves by how little they want to give. But they're also insulting themselves in front of their family and friends. And an elderly black person might set them up to leave for several reasons. They know that the white supremacy and the police will take the young boys to jail for their stupidity and embarrassment of the history and heritage of a black community. They also are very aware that with them gone, there will be less ridiculous pregnancies in the community. Apologies, I mean that no disregard, but it's what I've read about this situation. And openly it leaves a lot more black women and white women available to the black men. No kidding. But what I can say to you about a player in America is that today I'm sitting enjoying a little bit of time with my geese, checking in on, of course, Walter and Bethany who have been left, more or less, because the geese are doing what they do, flying off to the south to get out of the upcoming freeze and monstrous rain that they're not really thrilled about at this time. And openly, I'm checking my geese and the health of a duck that's been broken by a bulgus, which is sad, but hard luck. The truth is I'm sitting there and the Lord says, take out some gloves because maybe Mama Mallard will need to be lifted up and carried to the rescue shelter because of her inability to walk very well. So I pull out my rubber gloves from the Dollar Tree. I put them into my bin. I ready them and I wait. I feed them a little extra over bread because I can't eat the whole loaf and someone will taint it by morning in a stupid play. But what I discover is that when I turn back and Lord says, take a look and get your gloves, as he likes to teach, that the second glove I had there is gone and marvelously a mask with excrement in it has been placed in my bin in place of it.